Hello, everyone, and welcome to Unleash Your Company with Latin American-based talent. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Rob Levin. I'm the co-founder and chairman of Work Better Now. And today, we'll be discussing how hiring Latin American-based talent can benefit your business. Webcast is going to run about 15 to 20 minutes or so, and we'll have a short Q&A after. Uh, if you do have any questions during the webinar, you can just simply type them into the Q&A window. Uh, you'll see a little button for that uh, at the bottom of your screen, and we'll do our best to address them during the Q&A. If you have a question afterwards, you will be getting a, a follow-up email from us. Uh, it'll be coming from uh, CEO Andrew Cohen, and you can just simply respond to that uh, with any questions that you have. So we're gonna jump right in. Uh, in order for you to get the perspective uh, from which I'm coming from, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I keep this short. Currently own three businesses, including, again, as uh, co-founder and chairman of Work Better Now. Um, for those of you in the New York area, you might remember a media company, magazine, events business called the New York Enterprise Report Business Owners. I started that back in 2003 and ran it until we sold it about 10 years after. Before that, I had run several fast growing businesses, and started my career as an accountant, and then uh, earned my uh, MBA as well. All right, let's get going here. So it's a really interesting time in business today. Number one, you know, a lot of companies are still in rapid growth mode. We're one of them. Many companies are starting to feel the, uh, the effects of a recession, whether it's technically here or not. There's definitely some companies that are experiencing a slowdown. So companies are, are still in a very much in a state of flux for one reason or another. You know, either they're still rapidly growing or um, dealing with uh, some econ economic uh, headwinds. The, the level of customer expectations has never been higher. I really call this the Amazon effect. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, Amazon has just made everything easy, right? It's super easy to buy something. It's easy to return it. If you have customer service inquiry, it's interesting. It's easy to contact them. And what, what, what has happened is consumers, whether it's B2B or B2C consumer, it's still a person, uh, now have expectations that this is going to happen with every interaction they have with any company, big or small. And uh, we've certainly seen this. I've seen this in, in every one of my businesses. And to thrive today, you really have to meet those, those customer expectations and deliver a great customer experience. It's never been, the expectations have never been higher. And, and the same can be said for employees. Employees now, and everybody's, every, I'm sure everybody on the, uh, on the webcast is experiencing this. And of course, reading about it, hearing about it from other business owners. Uh, the employees now expect a lot. A lot of this is, you know, Gen Z and millennials, but really it's throughout the, uh, throughout the entire workforce. People want, it's more than just a, a lot of money in terms of salary, but benefits and time off and meaningful work and tied to a cause. Um, then let's throw on on top of this that the way that our clients, again, B2B, B2C are buying, this is continually changing. There's increasing marketing channels. This puts a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure on business owners today. And for many of us, many of us really need more talent in order to meet these challenges and to essentially harness change rather than be a victim of change. At the same time, it's harder than ever, ever to, to hire. It takes, according to LinkedIn, 42 days on average to hire somebody. And I can tell you personally, uh, as well as uh, hearing from you know, the hundreds of business owners that I interact with uh, every, every couple of months or so that it usually even takes more. I'm hearing closer to three to four months to, to make a, a hire. And we all know uh, how much salaries ha has increased. That's going to probably continue. That trend's going to continue as we're, as we're dealing with, uh, with inflation. You know, uh, certainly at a federal level, then depending where you are, what state or city you're, you're in. I know in New York, for example, um, they just passed a law that's now in effect where you now have to give salary ranges for the positions that you're hiring for. And there's always an increasing number of laws happening at the federal and state level as well. That just, it kind of makes it a little harder to, uh, for employees, employees to, to hire. It's just strange to me how, how government continues to make it higher to, to uh, put more jobs out there. 
now once you hire um again here according to linkedin there's a there's a pretty significant cost when you make a bad hire i mean we all try to do the right thing when we hire really you know hire slowly um to make sure that we're getting the right candidate but occasionally uh you do hire a candidate that isn't a great fit and there's a pretty big um you know here's the cost side but there's a pretty big uh, effect on employee morale as well as uh, as a productivity, a negative effect when you make a bad hire. It's really challenging to hire somebody. So the question is, is Latin, Latin American based talent the answer for your business? So let's talk about that a little bit. So um, by the way, that's Carmen. She is one of uh, one of our assistants working for one of our clients. Uh, her title, as you can see here, is Associate Corporate Member Services. We're so proud of all of our, uh, what we call virtual assistants, really our remote talent force that's working for our clients. So why Latin American-based talent? First of all, and trust me, we're speaking from firsthand experience. Let me add that um, with Work Better Now, our entire workforce, short of the two partners, myself and, and, and my co-founder, Andrew Cohen, and our two salespeople, our entire workforce is based in Latin America. So we practice what we preach. And what we have found is we found it's a workforce with incredible experience. And on top of that, great, uh, a great attitude, just very pleasant people to work with. And then of course, the, the, the cultural similarities, certainly as compared to other parts of the world are very, very strong. And of course, in Latin America, and you also have time zone alignment. Um, personally, as somebody who's very into health and health education, I know the effects it is that the effects of people who are working, let's say, graveyard shifts, working in um, uh, uh, working in time zones that let's say are five, six, twelve hours different. Uh, it's very there's a very very significant effects um, on somebody's health. We don't really believe in that. And one of the things we liked about Latin America is you do have this alignment where time zones uh, for the US market and for the United States market and Latin America are no, never more than one or two time zones uh, different. And then um, obviously not for everybody, but for many people in Latin America, they have very strong English capabilities, both written and verbal. And then uh, last but, but not least, um, there is a very significant cost of living differential in most, actually all Latin American countries uh, and the United States. And this translates essentially to lower salaries, lower salaries for US-based companies, as opposed to um, paying people uh, in the United States. So what can Latin American talent do? Rather than just give you a list, we wanted to, what we wanted to do is show you some of the roles that, um, our talent is, is performing for our US-based clients. So here you see here, marketing coordinator, administrative assistant, project manager, customer service rep, executive assistant, sales development coordinator. And every month in our newsletter, and if you want, you can sign up for that at our website at workbetternow.com. We're, we're giving, we're publishing roles that our assistants are taking on. And by the way, sometimes we're just as surprised as, as you might be, um, because we were finding many clients are now hiring two, three, four. We now have a, a client with nine, uh, nine assistants um, that are doing a very wide variety of roles. And of course, this is just about work better now talent, but there are plenty of companies that provide um, IT and uh, technical talent to do technical development, et cetera, um, out of Latin America as well. And then you also can get into vertical specific um, uh, talent for certain industries as well. So again, we want to just, we don't want to make this just about talk. We want to show you what's actually happening. So here's some of um, what our clients have been able to achieve. Let's start with Julie. Uh, she's based in Virginia. Her company is Lotus Revenue and brand consultants. I'm not gonna read what she had to say, but I, I do want you to focus on a couple of things. Number one, her assistant is able to do a very large percentage of the client work, which is freeing Julie up to spend more strategic time. That's really important. Remember those things we talked about earlier, all those changes going on in business, client customer expectations, et cetera. And she's also able to spend more time 
business development, growing her business. So more time on those things that create more value for her and for her business. And by the way, that's, uh, that's uh, uh, Julie's assistant, Ismaros. So uh, let's move on now to Teresa, uh, somebody who I've known now for a couple of years. She's based in Virginia. Here's what, what um, Teresa had to say. I know Teresa is very KPI focused. You can see here she's talking about how this has helped her revenue to employee ratio. Um, and uh, again, you're gonna see another theme here. It's, it's given her, uh, her VAs, by the way, she has two VAs named Kyra, uh, have given her flexibility and bandwidth. What, to do what? To focus on new deals. Again, things that really move the needle in terms of building the value of an organization. Let's move on to uh, Rich Shapiro, uh, the Center for Client Retention. I'll, um, again, I'll, I'll let you guys read this, but what you're gonna see here is he started out with one Work Better Now assistant, and he now has four, here they are. And uh, they are client facing, they are helping Rich and his team with their Fortune 500 accounts, um, both on the data and then on a, on a communication basis. Uh, and I, this is my favorite part, WBAN, and not really us, but our, our talent has revolutionized the way that he, uh, he, he and, and the rest of his team are managing their business. And our last example today is Larry Zogby. I've known Larry for almost 20 years. We've done business. Um, uh, over that period of time as well. Uh, he has seven people from Work Better Now working for him. And uh, again, transforming his business every day. Uh, Larry texts me usually several times a week to tell me uh, about what his workforce has been able to do and has uh, surpassed his expectations. By the way, you'll see Sophia on the left, uh, who's now doing inside sales. Uh, so really uh, a workforce that is capable of doing so much. What are some common questions or, uh, or concerns that people have? Um, one that comes up quite a bit is security. Is my data going to be secure, et cetera? And, you know, now that many companies have dealt with a remote workforce, thanks to COVID, um, Really, if you think about it, and what our clients uh, are, are seeing and what we have seen as well is, you know, whether your, your uh, employee is in Buenos Aires, Argentina, or whether they're um, in the same city as you, the security issues are really the same. You need the same security protocols. Um, hopefully you have an IT service company that is helping you, uh, particularly with uh, cybersecurity, and they should be able to help you again with somebody in South America or Central America or the Caribbean, just as they are helping you with somebody who is uh, around the corner, putting the right, right, not only the right technology in place, but the right processes in place. Personally, um, with, with my Work Better Now uh, assistant, uh, and I've had an assistant from Latin America now for, I think we're looking at seven years now, um, Again, I just use best practices. I give access to the data that they need. Um, and by the way, for me, that includes my credit cards, access to my, my bank account so they can do some of the work related to that for me, but not necessarily access to commencing a transaction. Just a lot of common sense practices, same practices that I've used with my workforce uh, in the United States over the years. How to pay them. So this is, this is tricky and this is not easy. Obviously, if you're working with a service like Work Better Now, you don't have to worry about paying them. You pay the service like you pay us, and then we take care of paying them. Um, now, if you're gonna go and try to, to try to hire somebody on, on, on your own, what I can share with you is that paying people in different countries is not as simple as it is here in the United States, let's say with ACH payments, uh, and obviously using payroll companies. It's quite different. Um, and I will also tell you that it not only varies by country, but it can actually vary by bank in each country. So it's a little bit tricky. There are some services that, that will help you with that. Um, you can just Google them. Um, this is again, if you're gonna try to hire somebody directly and not use a service. If you use a service, you don't have to worry about these things. How is their English? Well, first of all, you saw 
from some of uh, the examples that I showed you earlier that many of uh, many people from Latin America are in customer facing roles, whether it's Fortune 500 or anybody else's uh, clientele. That tells you a lot. And again, uh, on our end, this is something that we screen carefully for um, both verbal as well as written. And if you are going to hire directly, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that the same. How to onboard. So again, if you've hired, if you hired people remotely in the past, like many people have done over the past couple of years, you onboard them just like you would any other remote employee. If you haven't done that in the past, but I'll tell you some, some best practices uh, is that you really want to make them feel as a part of the team as possible from day one. Um, you know, remember when people are in person, there's the water cooler. You don't have that virtually, but that water cooler is really important. It's those, those non-work conversations that make people feel like they're part of the team. Now, of course, this goes in addition to all the, the basics, such as making sure that um, uh, they, have, they, they know where to find all the files and how all the different systems work. They have access to the right software from day one, et cetera. When you work with a certain, at least I can speak about work better now, we have success coaches that will help you with the onboarding process and will and actually stay with you as long as you have um, talent from work better now to make sure that A, you're getting best practices um, and B, if there is any issue, which does happen once in a while, that there's somebody there to help you take care of that. By the way, if you haven't, we're getting close to the end here. So if you have not uh, submitted a Q&A, a question, and you do have one, again, just hit that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. So um, what I don't want to, something I want to, I really want to mention, we st when we started the business, we started the business, when Andrew and I started the business in 2018, we started it because we thought that every business owner should have an assistant. And uh, we still believe that to, the, to this day. So I want to just go back for a second. You remember all those changes that we talked about earlier, uh, increasing customer expectations and the need for delivering a great customer experience. Um, the way customers are buying is changing. You now have to put a lot more time and consideration into making your staff feel like they're a part of something that's really important. All of these things uh, take time from the business owner. Um, and by the way, this, what I'm also hearing a lot about these days is new product development. Do I, do I need to change my product given the way the markets are changing, et cetera? All of this stuff takes time. And it's the, it's the business owner's job to lead the company through those process. It's really hard to do that when you're mired in administrative activities, right? And if, when you read this, you're probably wondering, what do I mean by this? Well, uh, if you take a business owner that's, let's say, making $200,000 a year between salary and share of the profits, et cetera, that's worth, that means your time's worth about $100 an hour, $200,000 divided by 2,000 working hours in a year, give or take $100 an hour. If you're making half of that, $50 an hour. If you're making double that, $200 an hour. If you're doing your own administrative work, if you're setting your own appointments, if you're reading your own email, if you are filing filing digital documents, if you are keeping track of projects, and checking in with your team, all things that really can be done on somebody else's plate, that means you're paying, some, it's like paying somebody $100 an hour to do administrative work. That's a lot of money. So a great place to start with Latin American talent is to start out by getting an executive assistant. And again, most of our clients start here and then they, they, they look for other opportunities, other roles after that. Uh, I love this quote from uh, good friend, Jack Daly. Uh, if you don't have an assistant, you are one. So a little bit about, I, I, I hope you found that helpful, a little bit about Work Better Now. By the way, this upper left corner, that, is, uh, that was a get together of uh, some of our, uh, not only some of our team, but some of our assistants in, um, in El Salvador. And then the, over here, the lower left, that's myself on the right, and Andrew Cohen, my co-founder uh, on the left. So we provide custom matched full-time, what I mean by full-time, dedicated and full-time top talent from Latin America it means we don't do part-time and every assistant is fully dedicated to you and to your business. 
uh, when you work with with uh, work better now you can actually it doesn't take two and a half months to hire somebody you can have somebody uh, in about an average of about two weeks from when you first have a consult with us to when they can be working for you uh, you lower the risk of making a bad hire we're doing a lot of the screening for you in addition to the fact that you get to interview people that we've hand matched for you as i alluded to earlier you get a dedicated success coach to help you um, with onboarding and beyond onboarding. There are no long-term contracts and the cost is $2,100, or I should say the investment is $2,100 a month for every dedicated full-time assistant. If you're interested in working better now, uh, you can schedule a free consultation with either Lena or Maggie. You can do that at our site at workbetternow.com. And if you mention this webinar, during your consult, and this is only until December 24th of this year, you'll get $150 off for each of the first three months uh, that you're working with Work Better. So we got a few questions um, and I'm gonna jump into them. Let's see here. The first question is, what is your screening process like? So this is our screening process. Other companies probably have something similar. And if you do wanna hire on your own, you can kind of borrow from some of this. So first of all, we have our whole recruiting department and we have a great employer brand in most, I think there's now 19 countries that we recruit from. So we get thousands of uh, applicants a month. And we have a, like I said, we have an entire recruiting team that uh, works through these applicants. And what we're doing is we are uh, assessing for the following and we're doing that with both technology as well as three interviews. And we're assessing for English, we're assessing for soft skills, hard skills, experience, of course. Um, we are also uh, uh, doing reference checks and as well as background and criminal checks. And the way that all shakes out is about 2% of the applicants on average uh, get approved to interview with uh, Work Better Now prospective clients. So I hope I answered that, that question. Um, next question, um, what is the process if I want to hire a, uh, an assistant? So it's really simple. You uh, go to Work Better Now. It sends you to a Calendly page where you, you set up a 15-minute call with either Maggie or Lena. And on that call, number one, we'll be able to help you determine whether or not we can help you. Uh, of course, answer any questions you have. And assuming we can help you, we learn a little bit more about what you were looking for. Um, we take that information, give it to the recruiting team. And uh, within a number of days, we then will send you uh, some times to interview with three candidates that are then hand-selected based upon what you're looking for, hard skills, soft skills, experience, et cetera. Um, and that, that interview takes place over the course of about 45 minutes to an hour. More often than not, um, after that interview, you are in a position to uh, immediately select one, sometimes two of the people that you've worked with to start working, and then you're, you're able to start working in a matter of a couple of days. One more question here. If you have a question, again, please, um, please let me know. Uh, how did you start hiring in Latin American talent? So there's actually a story here. I'll try to give you the short version. Um, back when I owned this media company called the New York Enterprise Report, which um, served the served business owners in the New York tri-state area, uh, I was literally walking on the street in Manhattan, not far from my office, and somebody stopped me and said, "You know, are you Rob from the New York Enterprise Report?" I said, "Yes." He said, "Look," he introduced himself. I'm not going to say his name right now. Um, and he said, look, I, I have this idea. I want to run it by you. I think, I think uh, we can work together and it'll be very beneficial. And he was, I, I knew of this person. He was an up and coming entrepreneur. And uh, he said, I said, great. He said, look, have your assistant contact my assistant. And I said, I didn't have one. <laughs> and he, he looked at me like I, had, like I had four eyes. And he said, I can't believe Rob Levin doesn't have an assistant. He said, look, here's my number. Call me tomorrow. We, we need to talk about why you need an assistant. We had that conversation within a matter of, I think a month, I hired an assistant and um, I never looked back. Uh, and over the course of the next few years, a lot of my friends were asking me about my assistant. 
And um, I would refer them to different services in Latin America. And uh, I then decided that, you know what, I can do this better. There's a big need. And uh, I was uh, meeting with Andrew Cohen, who I've now known for over 35 years. He's done a lot of work with small businesses. And we decided that we were going to start Work Better Now. By the way, my assistant for six of those years was Jessica, who all Work Better clients know. Um, and uh, Jessica is now the general manager for Work Better Now. So it just gives you a sense of the, the capabilities of, of clients that, uh, of, of uh, the talent that we have from, from Latin America. So uh, that was the last question. Uh, if you do have another question, we will be sending a follow-up email. I think it's coming from Andrew uh, with uh, access to an on-demand on um, version of this webinar, which you can share with colleagues or friends. And you can just simply reply to that email with any questions that you do have. If you want to email me directly, it's r11r-l-e-v-i-n R -L -E -V -I -N, at workbetternow.com. And with that, I want to thank everybody for taking a few minutes out of their day. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, I hope you have a terrific rest of the day. Thank you.